Okay. You know the drill? Okay, Captain Joe Amador, AMA DOR, Public Information Officer for the City of San Diego Fire Rescue Department. Okay, flames today, what happened? Right, shortly after 8 o'clock this, uh, this evening, we had reports of a big structure fire here at this apartment complex behind me. Uh, the address is the uh, 6,000 block of Reflection Drive. Uh, when firefighters arrived on scene, there was uh, many people out directing, in, directing them into this large apartment complex uh, where they found a uh, two-story apartment building that was fully engulfed in flames. Uh, they quickly made entry and uh, found that the fire was very intense, burning very hot, and uh, uh, reports that the flames could be seen from the 15 freeway. About 30 minutes into it, they had the fire extinguished and discovered that there was four dogs that needed to be rescued, which they, uh, they did. Uh, I'm happy to report the, the dogs seem to be okay and we have animal control en route. We also have reports of uh, two adults that were that are displaced and Red Cross is also in route to assist with the lodging arrangements. So no one was hurt, no pets were hurt? We don't have any reports of anybody being hurt or any pets. So uh, the two people were inside the home at the time that flames erupted? No, there was nobody home. So no one home but the pets? Just the pets, yes. And the pets were able to, okay, but you say two people have been displaced, so so they're here? Right, the two occupants or the two people that live in the residence are uh, are here and uh, need to be uh, uh, helped out by the Red Cross. Any idea how this, uh, you're talking about such an intense fire. Very intense. What could have started this? We don't know. Investigators just arrived on scene. We're going to have those details, maybe uh, some dollar damages and also the cause and the origin of the fire. And we'll release those details as soon as we can. Okay. Did extra units have to be called in? That's true. We called, because the fire was burning so intense and because it's a rather large unit with a uh, high probability of flame spread and fire spread and fire damage, we called extra units on scene to assist with the, uh, with the extinguishment of the fire. Uh, so we, we totaled about 30, 35 firefighters uh, right now. And you said a two-story apartment, so right. do we know if it originated at the, the first floor, second floor? No, it's still too early to tell. Like I said, when firefighters made entry, the fire was just burning so intense. Flames from floor all the way to the roof in a second story. It is above an apartment, it is above a, a parking lot, so that also made it a little bit, uh, uh, the, to get to reach it with the hoses made it a little bit more difficult, but uh, they were able to get there and extinguish the fire. Had minor damage or some uh, fire and smoke damage to the adjoining units, but uh, we'll get those da those damages uh, specifically from the uh, from the investigation. But safe to say that specific apartment where flames erupted is completely gone? It's completely done on the inside. Uh, we have total loss, I couldn't tell you at this time until the, they're done with the investigation. Just to clarify once again, I'm sorry, just to clarify once again, it is a single uh, housing unit, a single apartment, but yes. it is two-story. It is a two-story apartment. It's a two-story apartment over a parking complex that's attached to other units gotcha. via a hallway. Do, we don't usually yes. see a two-story apartment. Right, that's right. It, it's a two-story complex. It's a two-story apartment, one unit, okay. one address. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Firefighters are okay? Right now we have no reports of any injuries. Thank you, sir. Uh, You're welcome. Good.